Welcome to the Thursday, October 30th, 2014 edition of Ernerberry's Daily Video, sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. In today's video, broiler-type pullet chicks are hatching at an increased rate. Then later, an unusual decline in Canadian live lobster prices. But first, Cargill wins Order of Excellence Award from Excellence Canada. Here with that story is your host, Jamie Chadwick. Cargill's value-added meat businesses in London and Jarvis, Ontario and Spruce Grove, Alberta announced it will accept the 2014 Canada Order of Excellence for Quality Award from Excellence Canada in Toronto today. As one of Canada's most prestigious honours presented to a business, Cargill said it was quite excited to have been recognized with this award following Excellence Canada's visit in June. This recognition is based on a comprehensive and thorough review of all aspects of its organizational practices, including leadership, strategic planning, customer focus, stakeholder engagement, process management, supplier focus, and organizational results. Founded in 1992 by Industry Canada, Excellence Canada is an independent, not-for-profit organization committed to advancing organizational excellence across Canada. This is the second time Cargill has received an award from the organization. For more on this and other news from the center of the plate, head over to foodmarket.com. In other news, we look at an unusual decline in Canadian live lobster prices with seafoodnews.com's Michael Ramsing. An unusual decline in live lobster prices for select size product has been attributed to an influx in larger lobsters being caught out of Canada's Bay of Fundy. This week's 10% drop in price for select size product follows a up a decline in boat prices in Nova Scotia last week. Anecdotal reports say the Bay of Fundy catch, though a smaller fishery in comparison to Canada's upcoming openings in November, produced a record amount of larger size product that went straight to the live market. Still, while the live select market noted this downward movement, process and live lobster buyers continue to wait for November's more significant Canadian openings for more product. Get more lobster market developments and track industry news updates from Canada's upcoming November seasons using the Seafood tab in Comtel. Thanks, Michael. To wrap up today's video, we have a poultry market reporter, Terrence Wells, on how broiler-type pullet chicks are hatching at an increased rate. The Broiler Hatcher Report is an industry resource observers often refer to when they want to evaluate current and future chicken production. Players regularly dissect and discuss the weekly egg set and chicks placed figures to better understand why the market is performing the way it is and how it might react accordingly out front. One piece of the puzzle, though, that doesn't always come up in conversation, and it should, is the broiler type pullet chicks hatched. Last year, breeder availability and performance suffered, and the industry's potential production was skewed as a result. This year, however, that doesn't seem to be the case. Since January, July is the only month in 2014 where pullet chicks hatch did not surpass their year-ago totals. So what does this mean? Is the chicken industry in an expansionary phase? Corn is pretty cheap right now. We may not know the industry's angle, but one thing's for sure, processors aren't pulling back on their domestic flocks. They're clearly pushing pullet placements higher. Thanks Terrence, that concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. This broadcast is sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at epoultry.com.